And to start off, I have a pretty incredible healing testimony to share with you guys. And the great thing about testimonies and the reason we share is testimony means do it again. And so when we share a healing testimony, it says God did this and he can do it again for you which is just so amazing. So I'm just gonna share what happened for Daniel and I um, in the past couple weeks. We have a neighbor that has become a close friend and she ran into Daniel in the hallway of our apartment and he said, hey, how's it going? And she said, not very good. I've actually, I've lost 20 pounds and I'm pretty sick and I don't really know what's going on but I have an appointment later today. And Daniel said, oh no, well, keep us posted, okay? And, and she said, sure. So later that day, she texted Daniel and said, I know that God is good, but my doctor, and not but, and my doctor told me that I have thyroid cancer. And obviously she was really upset. She's a single mom and she was just pretty fearful about the future. And we just felt sick about it. The next time we ran into her, we said, hey, can we pray for you? We know that she loves Jesus. And she just said, yes, it was just right on the stairwell. And we just reached out our hands and we just commanded cancer to leave. And we said, you have no right to be in this body. And we said, you must go in Jesus name. And she seemed really at peace, but we just said, okay. See you later. And then we didn't see her for a couple days. We didn't see her for about five days. And then we ran into her again in front of our apartment. And she was like this. And she was like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I've been waiting to see you guys. I have to tell you. And we're like, what, what? And she said, I got a call from my doctor and he said, you need to come in right now. It's urgent. And she said like, right now? He said, you have to come. And she went, oh no. And she, she ran into the doctor and he was there with greeting her with a wide open arms like this. And he said, we can't find any cancer. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said, it's gone, it's gone. And when she told us this, she was crying and then I was crying and she said, I felt such a release of the Holy Spirit when you and Daniel laid hands on me, when you prayed and commanded it to go. And I just felt a shift and sure enough, the cancer is gone. It's incredible. So we just praise Jesus. And we just say that if you have pain in your body, that's your portion too. We just command that whatever the illness, the sickness, anything that is wrong, we say, that's not okay. And we just pull down heaven and release his spirit and say that we can access his divine health in Jesus name. And we are believing that there's going to be beautiful, amazing miracle results, just like for our neighbor friend. That's so good. What an amazing testimony. Yay. That's so good. And as Janelle said, um, that testimony means literally in the Hebrew, the, uh, the, the root of the word means do it again. And the reason it means do it again is that God wants to do it again. Yes. Uh, he's paid for it already in, G, uh, in Jesus. So 2000 and um, whatever years ago it was when Jesus was on the cross and he died, he paid for all sin um, and the consequences of sin and brokenness in this world, which includes includes uh, sickness. So that means it's paid for already. So whatever condition that you're maybe living with or carrying um, or putting up with in your body, uh, it actually has an answer already in Jesus. And it's not something you have to wait to die to actually access in your life. Yeah. I remember years ago, I um, one of the very first healings I ever saw was of a, a gentleman who was um, in his life. Uh, I, I think he may have even been in his uh, late 70s and he had hearing aids in and um he got a miraculous healing after I prayed for him. And I was thinking about the economy of this. If we looked at this in uh, just kind of how the world looks at situations, that if God had a, a limited economy, that he only had so much of himself to give out, it wouldn't have made sense for him to actually heal this uh, older gentleman compared to some of the, the younger ones out there who had the rest of their lives to live. See, he was, all, uh, he was closer to the doorstep of eternity than many young people were. Uh, but God doesn't look at the world like that. He looks at it through a Jesus-based economy and a cross-based economy. And the cross 
answered every healing question ever. So if you, if you have asthma, you have allergies, you have a foot condition, and I'm on to words of knowledge now, foot condition, um, stomach conditions, uh, headaches, uh, sleep apnea, um, neck condition. These are all words of knowledge for people in here and people watching online. Um, the answers have actually been paid for, and we want to go after this this morning. Um, does anyone... Uh, here this morning uh, respond to any of the words of knowledge that we've just listed does anyone here um, resonate with those if that's you can you just stick raise your hand so we can see you okay there's keep keep your hands up keep your hands up anyone else so a few of you and online put your hands up no that's a joke we can't see you but god can i i had a sense in which um there was a second piece of the healing equation that uh is important so often when we're sick we want someone to, um we we want heaven to touch us we want jesus to touch us um, and um, I was reminded of an incident we had a, a number of years ago in which uh, Jody and I visited Mariah Chapel, which was the, the center of the Welsh revival in 1904, 1905. There was a, a revival that swept Wales. 200,000 people came into the kingdom um, during that season. And we went to the chapel that was a center of the, the revival. Um, and um, we, we got a private tour like it was miraculous we actually um uh, we got a, a, a private tour of the chapel and the church the church hall where the revival had broken out by uh, a member of the congregation um who just happened to be in the locality when we uh, were there and his name was david and as we left um uh, mariah chapel jody my wife had a word of knowledge about this guy and um she shared it with him and she said um i, I had a picture of a um, oh, I had a sense in which you were someone that connected heaven and earth together. And he said to her, I, I was uh, born in a town where there was a famous bridge maker and his bridges were famous um, in legend for connecting heaven to earth. And, she, and Jody said, well, that's how God sees you. You're someone that connects heaven and earth. You're a piece of pipe work that connects heaven um, and earth, so heaven's life can flow uh, to the earth. And so each and every one of us that is a believer is a bridge between heaven and earth. You are that, um, and you're a super highway. You're not just like a, a little dinky bridge. Um, you're a super highway because you've got the King of Kings that lives in you. Um, and so you have the ability uh, to actually release heaven into people. Now, um, I haven't actually asked these people that raise their hands for healing, um, and you can do this at home if you've got people around you as well. If you've not, then lay hands on yourself. But if you would feel comfortable with uh, um, one, one, one other person laying a hand on your shoulder. Could you raise your hand again? Because we're going to release healing. We're going to go after healing. Okay, yes. Who else was there? Chris? Okay. So if someone who's not come with them could uh, just one person go over, put a hand on the shoulder, we're going to release healing. And you can do this at home. If you're alone at home watching this, lay hands on yourself where, um, where the condition is. Um, we need... To... Oh, thank you, Andy. Um, and yep, you can... He's already better. Okay, so one person's been healed already. That that's called Je that's called Jehovah sneaky. That's called Jehovah sneaky. People, um, he's so hungry to heal. It's not uh, it's not difficult. You see how easy it is. All right. Um, so Father, we thank you for the testimony of healing of cancer. <laughs> the mighty Goliath is a, a little puny monster um, that falls and submits at the name of Jesus. Um, and today, for the people here in the auditorium that are just saying that they have a condition, whatever it is, Lord, however their big, their giant looms over them, we declare to you today that Goliath falls in your life. Goliath falls in your life. Today is the day, we say in Jesus' name. Today is the day that Goliath falls. And if you're at home, today is the day that Goliath falls. Bam. Jesus' name and just release healing. So don't ask God to release healing. You release healing.